Can you believe it? The anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home, not to make nice with some princess that thinks... Oh, my... I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you scrying the entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along? You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Oramon even pretended to be a wartime? <sighs> You're looking at her. It's okay, Zandara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Oramon's High Council the next time they convene at Nosia. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosia, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. You're shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Captain Selko it's go time, and to have his Lance of Strikers ready. So... what should I do? Shall we save you a seat on the assault craft? <laughs> no. Still not my war. Ah, well, um, there's a very nice gift shop on level 10. Nope. Level 10 disappeared again. It keeps overlapping with that northeastern change wind from my overlay. It takes- Gotta find Selko. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oramon? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go. Let's move! 
recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's gotta be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the binding stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here.
supported. Yeah, you're talking about someone else. You're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a binding stone. Or a mark. I, I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it. Or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. <laughs> I guess. All right, so that's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. it out please say yes yeah we're uh we're good to go with this i can destroy the binding stone we just have to get close enough to sandrak how do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is this mark gives me a connection to the binding stone i can feel where it is i can i can feel where sandrak is he's moving east towards the deep near there's a font in the ocean sounds like it all right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirkin. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. Yeah, we are really just, you know, gonna destroy that Binding Stone so hard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Now head back to the Palathon.
Sir, I'm back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. I was hoping for more than a summary. You know, for us to talk about it. It will have to do. I don't like to talk about Sandrak, because I don't like remembering him as a friend. We fought alongside each other for 30 years, Jack. I depended on him, would have given my life for his, and all of that is gone. It does me no good to relive it. To let it in, I might also invite a mercy where I can have none. Come, show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror, but his movements are weird, erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devon will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Claylish Traders Guild provided us with a Colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. You've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack. If you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right, and true, and good. And they betrayed that vision. Betrayed you. How would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you talk about it? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in arms for longer than you've been alive. We stood against the Kalthus Estates the Sea King Usurper, the Colossals of the Arjaman Pretenders, even against Rasharn, his homeland. And then one day, he refused to participate in a mission that could have very well ended the war. What mission? Read the report. And we're back to that. Look, what's important is that Sandrick had orders, and he allowed his own hubris to ignore them. He made a decision that jeopardized the rest of us because he thought he knew better. Ah, uh, yeah. Hubris sure is some bad news. It's terrible. For the breaking of his oath to the Order, I exiled him back to Rasharn as punishment. Thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl, Kenzie. She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir.
come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way. Kenzie? Over here, champ. Did you get lost? No, I just never wore Central here, just kind of skeeves me out. And then someone told me about all those names out there being dead people, and it... The garden area thing, it was nice. Yeah, the names hit me pretty hard too when I first got here. I, I was going to leave, but then your boss lady said you were on your way back, and there I am thinking about dead people, and then of course I suddenly can't get Thaddeus out of my head. I'm really sorry. I know you two were close. He was such an asshole. Did he... When you hung out with him, did he talk about me at all? I... I really looked up to him. He never mentioned you at all. Wow. Yeah, we were... You know, the stuff we were talking about was more... Important. Okay, sure. Don't soften the blow or anything. Alright then. I guess my job's done here. I'll be off. If I can remember where the exit is. We're heading out to the Deep Mirror tomorrow to beat the hell out of Sandra. Wanna come? The ocean? <laughs> oh, hell no. No one from Oraman knows how to swim. Well, neither does anyone from Saren. We'll both be trailblazers. Also, you're good in a fight. We could use that. I helped you out once. Do it again, and I'm just another pawn of the hegemony. Count me out, soldier boy. Worth a try. Swell digs, by the way. Pretty enlightening seeing how the other half lives. Look now, I grew up in the Underbridge, in the slums. I just work here. <laughs> My bad. Totally didn't realize you were keeping it real. Bye, Kenzie. And hey, thanks for the assist with finding the Shrine Forge. See ya, hot stuff. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Light's Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Rashanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father. My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. 
call him the turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, Sarah, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. <laughs> Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more surprised. Another. Damn it. <laughs> Another. Use your last! Use your last! I know, I know. Another. Oh. Am I dead? It's him, isn't it? Sandrax moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen. I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> see you soon.
Does seasickness cancel out hangovers? Or is it more of an additive thing? Welcome aboard, immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Can't give you anything precise, Captain, but north by northeast? Five knots. If Sandrak changes course, you'll be the first to know. Something wrong? Just the fact that this mission and the war hinges on something that we don't understand. At all. We'll catch him, sir. This was built by the Ajma. You sometimes forget that there were great civilizations of such marvelous invention before Aristea. What's up, Jack? So, uh, you went to university, right? I mean, duh, you were just all, this was built by the Arjman, and uh, I've never even heard of them. If there's one thing my father expected of me, it was to treat history like a type of scholastic jambalaya and just continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I've read a lot of books, and um, I know my numbers and stuff like that. It's just... Uh... I don't think I've ever seen you so insecure, Jack. Is it the upcoming fight? No, no, no. Well, yeah, uh, kind of, maybe. Look, the thing is, Sandrak is super educated. You remember how he called me... In our every meeting, a yipping pup. I remember. Exactly. They... In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Yeah. Didn't need to do it again. But yeah, that's, you know, I want to say something like that to him, right? Like, we're fighting and I'm all, yeah, and you're old. But not like that, obviously. Oh, I see. An erudite put down. A deeply cutting tit to his tat. If that means what I think it does, then very much yes. Well, let's make one for you. Like you say, Sandrak's very old and he's. a stuffed shirt. Let's work on it. We'll give it right back to him. In our every meeting, and so and so. Blowhard? Buffoon? Windbag? Oh, buffoon's gonna hurt. It always does. But something before it. In our every meeting of what, buffoon? Now, the old bit. Geriatric? Obsolescent? Fossil? Oh, no. no. Fossilized. Obsolescent does feel like a Sandrak word. I mean, he doesn't have a monopoly on it, but it certainly works for our purposes. I think we've got it. Let's test it out. I'm Sandrak. I'm... Wait, wait, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm Sandrak, and I'm bursting with power, and I have that bored patrician look on my face, and I go something like, Fools for certain, there is no mercy. But of my white, hot, and brandy make. Shut the fuck up, you obsolescent buffoon! What do you think? Uh, I mean, just telling him to shut the fuck up is pretty good. He'll absolutely hate it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you would. And you really sell that part of it. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, thanks, Dev. Happy to help. Now, get up to the control room. I'll join you shortly. Your mind initiate. Oh, uh, I just heard you talking and thought maybe. Has Sandrak changed course? No. I don't know why he was almost running in circles before, but his movements have leveled out. Now it's a straight line. Font of Kalalian. 
They call her the mother of the water spirits. She's quick. And wouldn't have been run down easily. She gave him a good chase. Did you just make that up? I thought you guys didn't know anything about the fonts. I don't know what they look like. And outside of the font and the palathon, I've never known where they were. But that's never stopped Magni from telling stories about them. Speaking of the font and the palathon, what did she show you on the path that you took with you? The one most important to you, I mean. I'm just curious. She showed me fighting Sandrak. That's common. Well, kinda fighting him. Kinda running from him. And now it's a straight line. That's progress. Carry on, Initiate. Shawnee and airships headed our way. Prepare to engage. Prepare to repel boarders! Airships got a toxin! Action stations! Action stations! Here we go. Jack, get to the control room and protect Selco. Zendara and I will hold off the Rashanians down here. Got it. Gotta get to the control room.
them back. There's no reason for your people to lose their lives. You shouldn't underestimate them. They used to be your people too, remember? Sandrax already started binding the font. He'll be unstoppable when he's finished, and there's nothing any of you can do. Yeah, well, I've still got a trick or two up my sleeve. And you could help. You know I won't. And stop wasting my time. Hold still, Captain. We're here. The font is on the bottom of the sea, and he's holding the waters back. He's draining the font. We gotta go. Now. Go! Devon can steer in my stead. We'll hold off the Rashanians. I'll do what <laughs> now? You are broken and you are bound to dream of Kilalian. The fault of Aristea was thinking of you as anything more than a tool. He doesn't have any such mark, my dear. What? Stand down, brother. 
You could rejoice with me. The work is almost done. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Manners. Every moment of your life has existed in the orbit of my own. You cannot describe yourself without mentioning my name. I am the sole catalyst for your sense of purpose. There comes a time when any thrall buckles in their chains. But I never put them there. You see me as your enemy because I don't see you at all. A triarch. Kirken was lucky to find you. Van Tiefel. Vijay! Draw this out for nothing. That a miss. Should have been a lesson. There is no grace in your magic, no skill. Vision. Fight like a soldier in the dirt, not a magic. No more.
not a miss. Shrouded realm. It's just like the pale forest. Something about the fonts weakens the barriers between the worlds. Oh, hey, we uh, <laughs> we gotta stop meeting like this. Shit. Dara, on your feet. We've got to go now. The sea's collapsing on itself. Let it be your tomb. Or, how about yours? Get in! Gotta be. Maybe not dead exactly, but extremely inconvenienced. We lost the binding stone, Jack. Found it. Hey, where's Indara? Already flying back to the Palathon, I suspect. Or searching for some errant Rashanian harriers to pummel so she can work her aggressions out before speaking to Kirken. Wait, what? You're joking. You completely went against orders at the Shrine Forge, Jack. And you hid it from all of us. You made us look like fools. What? No, you mean the control mark? Sandrak's gone. We got the Binding Stone. Devin, we just won the war. Kirken told you to destroy it, not bring it home. Devin, you cannot be serious right now. Just go, Jack. Kirkan's going to be positively beside herself with anger when she finds out what you did. You need to take this seriously. It will go over very badly. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <sighs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to... Look, 
I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and... And there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, Commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her! I did it! Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon, and we can roll right now into Rashan by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of ultimate weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristan artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristan is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it, well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! Come see me at the scrying hub. Can it wait? I need some time to cool off. Kirkin tore me a new one. No, it can't wait, Jack. Come see me right now.
Okay, what's the big deal? You two, give us the room. Move! Room, seal and set scrying wards. Remember when Sandrak breached the Palathon that one time? What fun! And afterwards, it was up to me to strengthen our security enchantments against Roshanian magic. Yeah? Well, they worked. Who the hell is Luna, Jack? Just stop, Luna. Roshan doesn't have its own colors. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? What is it? Some kind of spectral projection? The real question is, who are you communicating with? Wait, uh, are you spying on me? Are you spying on us? Is this Luna a Roshanian agent? No! Y yes, she, she, she grew up with me in Saren. She took care of us. Turns out... God, look, it's so messed up, Dev. Luna's... The friend you say is dead, which is very sad, but also very not true, because it turns out she's a Roshanian agent. Worse. She's the hand of Sandrak. Oh, do me a favor! I know, I know. I swear I was going to tell you. You already kind of knew. You noticed me looking at her in one of our briefings. She can hear our mission briefings? No, no. At least she says she can. And I believe her, because when we mind link or whatever, I can't see or hear anything around her either. It's not... It's a, it's a corrupted spell, Devin, not some kind of covert intelligence device thing. I, I promise. Daddyus cast a Rasharnian spell. That's what you detected, so we could walk around in each other's heads, and she got in somehow. I, I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure what to do. I thought maybe I could convince her of something I hadn't come up with yet. All right, it, it's messy. But I was never going to let her hurt us. You said she killed Thaddeus. Well, I was never going to let her hurt us after that. Devin, come on. She didn't interfere in the deep mirror. She hasn't come after us since this whole mind fuckery stuff happened. And now that Sandrak's dead, we can... Stop it. Just stop. I think you should leave. Okay. I'll, uh, be in my room. The Palathon. You should leave the Palathon. This is bad, Jack. You're serious. Whatever I decide to tell Kirken, I'll... I'll let you know beforehand. I don't know how to do this. We need to talk. Can you, uh, show up? Hey, kid. Fancy that. I was just about to reach out. Bet you some wires got crossed. Daddyus? Don't get spooked now. I ain't a ghost. Turns out... Something went wrong with your mind walk spell? Hey, now. That spell would have worked just fine if it weren't so rudely imposed upon. Now, I keep getting visions of you and that girl and then... Same here. Well, not with you. This is... The first time with you. Well, I guess you just know everything about everything. I didn't know you were alive. I've been telling everybody you were killed. I'm sorry to disappoint. It suits me better that way, to be honest. I've been getting a little long in the shadow lately, and too many folks are starting to know where I'm getting to it. The hell? Sorry. Rook's on my ass about telling you to get over here. We need to talk about Sandrak. Man alive, would you shut up? <laughs> 